Uh, Rico in the car and switched out to the uh, 12 to 45. We're going to start with 25 on this lens, which is uh, 50, so that gives us a nifty 50 equivalent. All right, and after uh, finally walking all over the place and uh, actually going too far in the other direction, I now found what I'm looking for. Down these stairs is the Star Cyan. Yeah, Star Cyan, good stuff, and yes, sweet, it is open. So, um, a nice view, and this place was always uh, packed during the week. It was a couple of years ago before the pandemic. But, uh, yeah, it's exciting to see this place is still here. I miss this place. I can't wait to see if the food is as good as I remember. so bad. Oh yeah, it's great. Look at this. Beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna enjoy my food and then we'll uh, talk to you when we get back out on the streets. Damn, that was good. And I actually ended up eating all that food. Like I said, that is my one meal a day. And you heard me right. Um, Maybe I'll do another video about that some other time, but uh, just really briefly, that's one meal a day by choice. Um, I've been doing the one meal a day or OMAD diet for about, uh, I don't know, a year or two now, and it has just helped me really keep the weight off. Um, I actually lost a ton of weight on it. Uh, intermittent fasting never really worked for me where you just eat, you know, between like a four or six hour window. That kind of equates to a lunch plus dinner and I never really ate uh, breakfast in the past anyway, so that didn't do much for me. Um, as a matter of fact, intermittent fasting, I just like to call that the uh, no breakfast diet. But um, yeah, OMAD is great. Uh, I like to eat a big meal, and I like to not have to worry about what I'm eating or what the calories are, so by just eating once a day, it's uh, almost... Uh, very little thought that has to go into it. You know, some days you can eat more, some days you can eat less, and it just works out. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. And I like kind of the feeling of being a little bit hungry at around noon. And instead of eating on my lunch break, I'll go out and go for a walk or maybe just work through it and uh, get the day over quicker. So it's pretty awesome. But yeah, anyways, uh, sometime in the future I will do a longer video and I can share, you know, how the OMAD works for me, some of the things I do to make it work, and, you know, what my progress was and how I've managed to stick to it. It really has become more of a lifestyle than a diet. I don't even really think about it anymore. Why oh, it's losing me. Hey, get up here. There it is. We got about uh, five blocks and some really good uh, opportunity for street photography along the way so when we came up we walked uh, down that street over there now we're gonna walk back down this uh, street we're on so this is uh, Wabash and uh, I like this because this has small buildings on both sides and you can get some uh, you know interesting if the clouds let up the sun shines through and you get some good contrast of light and shadows Uh, 
uh, this 50 is great. Hopefully get a pretty high hit rate, or at least one or two. Let's go uh, check out some blues before we uh, head downstairs, huh? This rocking pretty good. 